our main problem of retired pensioners lies on the head of the former retired IG, MD Aubakar, who owns the police pension. He's the one that runs it. He is the one who owns the police pension. Police pension is PLC, yes. private liability company. Is owned by former IG MD Abakar. He is the cause of this our problem. All the time the IG tried to obey, he will repeal them and press them down. We are begging the National Assembly to, to repeal that act creating this PENCOM. The, the military are out of this problem. The SSS are out. The NIA are out. All those products are product of the Nigerian police. We are begging our head of state, Senate President, Speaker, to remove us from to remove us from Peko and make us as a soldiers. Uh, uh, soldiers NIA, SS, they are paying them freely, but our own they are using it as a business, DIG, AIG. And I just, they are using us as a business and they refuse to give us our money. One day to remove us from PEMCON and reform back our money. Because you can imagine, they are paying me, they pay me just 1.4 after 35 years. And now, monthly payment is 22,000. And we have another issue in which we, are, we want to talk about the debarment allowance. The debarment allowance is an allowance that you pay to officers who have been trained on various skills like bomb, like issue of arms and ammunition, like acquiring various dangerous skills that you can use against the state. But our men were trained on this, and they have been using it when they were working. Now that they have retired, they should be paid off, because they can easily be used by those who are against the state. We are here to present our complaint about our uh, pensions. I spent 35 years in the service. They are paying me 32,000 naira as a pension monthly. So we have cried enough. We have cried enough to the all lands. I even went to the extra lens of promising to you that if that one is not done, I personally will take responsibility and uh, deal with the bill as a private member bill. I made that promise to you. And, and I am still on it. But on your part also, you are supposed to submit an input for us to move forward. What we agreed was that eventually, uh, for us to be able to move forward and to attend to your problem globally, the Inspector General of Police is supposed to submit an amendment bill, a draft bill to the committee. An executive yeah, Yes, to the committee, a draft bill, so that the committee will look at it and then decide on whether it is executive that will present the bill. Please, I want you to go sit down, condense the document and then come up with a very good input that you know will uh, affect you positively. In isometric view, sit down, condense the, the, the whole, that's the act, the, the position act. And then when you're making your input, you make sure you, everything has been captured in that uh, presentation. It is, I assure you, it is what we are going to use as a, gui as a guidance on the amendment on the floor of the Senate.